So in the second video, we're gonna talk about the demo bot. And the demo bot is something that's really unique to chatbots and is one of the most powerful and most effective ways to get new clients. So let's take a look. Let's actually talk about creating your, your offer, designing your chatbot, and creating the services that you're actually going to offer. And what I realized is that um, businesses, they don't want to buy chatbots, right? They don't, they don't want to buy, um, like they don't like bots. A lot of businesses, when you say, oh, have you thought about a chatbot? They go, oh no, like <clears throat> we don't want it. We want to be personalized. We want to be interactive. We don't want to be spammy. We don't want to be boring. We don't want to be, you know, we don't want to bother. Like, like a, a lot of people have these weird preconceived uh, notions about what a, a chatbot actually is. And so that's why we've really gotten away from even using that word at all um, with our services until people really, really ask. But <clears throat> what I think about is, is that, you know, there's a ton of creative ways that you can impact the industry through chatbots. And we're going to, we'll talk about, you know, you saw, <clears throat> um, uh, a lot of the musicians uh, in the last video, we did it for, um, we showed you for home services. Someone asked about insurance bots. We've actually ran a few campaigns for uh, insurance um, agents through a chatbot. And what was really, really great about it and what they loved about it was that you were able to ask some really basic information that usually took a phone call. And then you were able to gather that person's information and then you are able to actually connect that person's information directly with the agent in real time. And so when these people came in through the bot, not only was it a very profitable ad campaign, but what was brilliant about it was that they were actually very, very qualified leads because they <clears throat> had gone through a small little survey and they had actually filled out some information and then now the agent had that information and was able to pick up the sales conversation right there. And so when I think about, um, you know, when, when people are, when you're explaining a, a demo bot, right? When you're explaining a bot, excuse me, uh, a lot of businesses have a hard time actually like, like understanding what it is that you, what it is that you mean, right? Like what it is that it can do. And so what I'd encourage you to do <clears throat> is to build what we call a demo bot, right? And all it is, is it's, it's a simple opt-in, right? It's a, it's a really simple opt-in. Let me see if I can just kind of come in. And there's, there's three things <clears throat> that you want to show people, you know, or show businesses that it can do. Uh, the first thing that you want to show people, you know, how easy it is to do is how easy it is to actually opt in. Right, I think that that's so so valuable um, for for businesses to realize is how simple and all of the different ways that you can actually get people to subscribe. And so, <clears throat> what I usually do when I actually have a, a you know a uh, a bot is we usually just or we have a demo bot is we usually just use a link right here, right? We usually just use a uh, let me title this so we'll just title this uh, demo bot, <clears throat> right? And uh, let's see here. So here, oh, well, well, actually what we need for the link is we actually need it to be attached to a, uh, a page. So if I hop down here into my millennial skills bot, you'll actually see that it makes it very easy because you can just send someone a link and if they click that link, what will happen is that they can actually just go right into the, uh, into the, into the bot. Now, <clears throat> the second thing that you want to be able to do is show them all of the variety of ways in which people can actually opt in. And so you'll notice here that you have your customer chat plugin. And so I always love explaining to businesses that they can actually, if they have website visitors going to their website already, they can actually have people opt in and they can actually create a live chat scenario and actually have all of those people subscribe to a list that they can follow up with as well. We know about the acquire user from comments. Everybody loves that. I'll, frankly, I think that's kind of an overrated way to be able to get people in because it requires you to uh, have a large uh, ton of traffic already, um, you know, a large Facebook audience, which just not a lot of people have, or requires you to run ads. The second way though, I love this, um, this discovery section because depending on your bot, depending on your business, a lot of people can actually submit that and that's just a great way to gain easy exposure, right? You can have people opt in and have different checkboxes um, or you can actually have people use a messenger code. 
And this is a brilliant way to be able to offer businesses who already have walk-in traffic, like restaurants, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, cars, mechanics, oil places, like any any place that already has a lot of walk-in traffic. What What's brilliant about chatbots is that there's actually a scan code that people can pull out their phone, scan the code, and they'll be taken right into the bot. And you can actually use this to do a lot of different cool things for local businesses. And so being able to demonstrate uh, how people can get opted in is one way to be able to do it, right? The second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to show them all of the cool things that it can do, and that, that you know, you, I would very make it, very much make it specific to your uh, your audience and say, you know, if you're doing real estate, say, hey, here's how I can sh I can qualify buyers for you, right? If you're if you're doing it for um, you know, if you're doing it for, for, you know, something like the medical spas or like dentists or chiros, it's like, here's how I can schedule for you. Or if you're doing it for whatever types of business, you want to show them how it can replace or how it can automate a lot of the features that they are already doing. And you can do that through the things like, you know, buttons and videos and links and stuff like that. And so eventually what we want to do our goal with our, our our demo bot is really just to get them to schedule right because what's beautiful about the demo bot is you can obviously go in and manually follow up with these people through the facebook messenger inbox right through your pages app or you can actually prescribe and, and set up an automation in here so that when they actually come into your demo bot you can actually have them go through a series of follow-ups and what's beautiful about the demo bot is that it automatically becomes the funnel and so you are able to be, um, you're really able to um, kind of advance, right, the sales conversation, and you're able to qualify these people um, in a much in a much easier way. So that's the first thing, right? Is is the is the qual or is the um, subscription? The second thing we just talked about is all of the ways that you can that you can qualify them and then the third is the is the follow-up right and being able to highlight and show them that you can actually do follow-up right here through this um, you know through this same system right and I think that that's a really really beautiful uh, easy simple way for businesses to understand how a messenger bot how a chat bot can actually impact their business well, now you can see what's really possible when you go out there and create a demo bot to actually show to your clients. And so in the next video, what we're going to show you is how to actually go out there and get in front of these potential businesses. But if you'd like to work with me personally, click the button below and I'd like to invite you to a special offer that's only for viewers of this particular program.